Here's how you know that the TikTok banning bill is a fake Trojan horse. Um, first of all, it is a TikTok specific ban. And when the representatives say, but you don't understand, it's TikTok specific. It's not going to apply to other places. It does say TikTok by name, but there is a place where it says that it could apply to some other unnamed platform in the future if it was also influenced by an adversary, for an adversary. But anybody with uh, IQ over 80 can see that that's really opening the door for the government to say, oh, Elon, it looks like because you sell a lot of electric cars and you depend on Chinese manufacturing for your batteries or whatnot, it looks like they're influencing you. No, they're not. There's no evidence that they're influencing me. Well, yes, there is. Let's do a, let's do a survey of your outcomes on, uh, on the X. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch of accounts that seem to be pushing Chinese propaganda, and I'll bet you knew about it, and you could have done more to stop them. Now, it doesn't mean he knew about them. It doesn't mean he could have stopped them. It doesn't even mean the data is real. But do you see how easy it would be for the government to put X out of business if this becomes law? Just trivially easy. Now, I know what you're going to say, but 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 the lawyers and smart people have looked at that language and they've said, no, that, that language couldn't be abused. Take it out. Just take it out. There's your tell. The fact that that language is a problem and it would be as easy as lining it out with a pencil to get rid of the, the problematic part, because if you just make it about TikTok, you've got wide agreement. If you, if you throw in that Trojan horse part, you don't. So why won't they take it out? There's only one reason it's in there. <laughs> it's either intentionally to kill the bill, in other words, it's a poison pill, or if it got approved, it would be a way to take out an X. Well, do you know why this got bipartisan support? Let me tell you. Because the Republicans are apparently fucking stupid. Sorry. And the Democrats are trying to sneak one past the keeper. That's what it looks like to me. So the Democrats said yes because they know it's a trick. And the Republicans said yes because they don't know it's a trick. I think that's the story. Because you can see the Republicans talking about it like they don't know it's a trick. That's what it looks like. So I can't think of any other reason you can get 100% bipartisan support unless one side knew it was a trick. That's the only way you can do it. <laughs> And sure enough, here's the other. Uh, so the two tells that this is not genuine is one that they put that they put any language in there that would apply to another American company down the road. The fact that that's in there at all tells you something, doesn't it? And then the the second part is that the people talking about the bill pretend it's not in there. They ju they just pretend it's not there. What? <laughs> that's Republicans. They're pretending it's not there. So they're either in on it, or they haven't read it, or they're working with the intelligence people to get control of the platform. And uh, everything the Republicans who are for it and against it are saying doesn't appear to be true or smart or typical to their own past. In other words, we're seeing very clearly very smart people doing things that are either un sound uninformed or dumb. Way more on this topic than I've ever seen on any other topic. So, yeah, every, there's something dicey about this. So I'd say that uh, uh, TikTok is bad, but it could also be true that the bill to ban TikTok is just as bad, just in a different way. And it could be also bad that Congress is worse than TikTok and worse than the bill. <laughs>